Good morning guys. So I'm currently in Malta. I'm just about to perform for a casino event called the European Roulette Championship. I'm gonna be there just like doing tricks while people gamble. Me going on tour requires me to travel a lot with my vape gear. But I decided to make this video because I get this certain question very often from my friends. Today I want to make a guide to traveling with your vape gear and hopefully people can use this information um, to get through security and customs at the airport faster. So the first few tips that I want to give you guys is about batteries. Now with batteries, you guys want to carry them in your carry-on luggage and not your check-in luggage. Always have your batteries fully covered and safely secured in your battery cases. Now I use hard cases, rubber cases do work as well. Um, it's just I have a feeling that some people might be anal about it uh, not being fully covered so they might stop you and tell you no. I'm not too sure, I didn't run through that problem yet, but just to be safe, I have the hard covers because they're fully covered um, and they stay in place, so I like them very much. So the second tip that I want to give you guys is about e-liquids. So for e-liquids and liquids in general, the bottle size, the maximum bottle size is going to be 100 mils. So luckily this bottle right here looks like it's, it's a very big bottle, but it's actually 100 mils. So I can bring this onto the plane if I want to. Now, if you guys do have any bigger size bottles, you guys can put those into your check-in luggage. But you gotta make sure that you're not over the weight limit of your luggage or else you guys are gonna pay extras for shipping off your bag. Now, if you are bringing the juices onto your carry-on luggage into the plane, then they're gonna make you put it into a plastic bag like this. Some airports have smaller plastic bags, so this isn't the regulated size for everywhere you're gonna go to, but just keep that in mind, you're gonna have a small bag to put all your liquids in, not just your liquids, all liquids. So the next tip that I wanna give you guys is about your build kits. Now with your build kits, a lot of people have sharp materials in here, like scissors, clippers, and that concerns the airport security. If you wanna get through the airport security fast and efficiently, don't bring this onto your backpack or carry-on luggage, bring this onto your check-in luggage. All right guys, so the last tip that I wanna give you guys is about your devices. I always put my devices into my carry-on luggage, uh, but if you don't have any space or you need to put more devices, make sure to put them into your check-in luggage, but you have to cover them and protect them well. Because from what I noticed, the people who work at the airport, they don't give a single damn about your suitcase at all. Like they'll throw it around. I've seen them sit on it, stand on it. Like they throw it into the plane. Like not, not like lift it lightly and put it down. They throw it. Uh, make sure to cover them, protect them. Uh, put them in like a case or whatnot because it is your suitcase is going to get beat up. Now the quantity of devices. Um, I would say don't I always tell people don't bring so many devices, um, it just causes much more issues um, later on. So when I was going through airport security and I had a lot of devices on me, they still pull me to the side even though like I showed it and I was telling them about it, they'll still pull me to the side and ask me more questions like why are you bringing so many devices, where are you going? To avoid that hassle, just try not bringing so many devices. All right guys, so that's my guide to traveling with your vape gear. If you guys do have any more questions about traveling with your vape gear, I'm always free to answer them. So just leave your comment below and I'll try to answer you guys the best way as possible.